Hi everybody, welcome to True Once, where here we try to help you make that decision if it's going to change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's the red button you find right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also a bell that's beside that subscribe button and I always recommend that you press it. It's called the notification bell. And what ends up happening is YouTube will send you one email notifying you that I just uploaded a brand new video. You will see in your inbox the picture and the title of the video. And if you press on the picture, it acts like a shortcut and it takes you directly to the video. It's something I use and I enjoy and I always want to make sure that you guys know about it as well because I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive like today and I don't want you guys to miss out. So make sure to press that subscribe button and ring that bell and you'll be all set. Also, if you're enjoying my content, it's really important for me. Under the video, there is a thumbs up. If you press that and it turns blue, it means you're helping me grow on the YouTube platform. So thank you. All right. Today, we are going to go through the BoxyCharm choice items for November. Today is the day. It's Monday the 12th where people who have premium or lux, which I do, we get what they call early access, which means we can choose today. Everyone else who just uh, gets the base box which is the starter box they get these same uh, selections tomorrow so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up of how this works and then share with you the add-ons which is another feature that you get to have after you do your choices all right okay so I'm just going to show you the choices and this is the first time that when they did the choices they did it uh, all within the same day so really really excited about this so the choice items for the base box are, and I have two boxes, so I have my regular account and this account. This account, I made my choices, and you'll see what I chose for this one, and I chose different choices for my uh, regular account, so you'll get to see those when I do all my unboxing as well. So the choices for the base box today that they're giving us for the November box is the Benefit Cosmetics Give Me Brow, and they give you the choices of the colors. This is an excellent product. If you haven't tried it, it's one that I recommend. The other box I chose, the Milk Makeup Kush Waterproof Mascara. I have not had the opportunity to try the Milk Makeup uh, Mascara in the regular one, but it did have good reviews. This is a waterproof version, so that's what I chose. For this one was also a new product to me. It's a brand that I enjoy. It's called Jouer, and it was the Lip Enhancer. Because there were only three choices, I already have the Gimme Brow. I chose the mascara for the other box, and I'm choosing this one for this box. So that's why you see it ticked off where it says the choice. And you have a, a time period where you could return to this page to review or change your choice up to the 23rd of October, which is fantastic. And then they also have where if you don't want to choose that you can say choose for me. This is the first time that they're doing it all on the same day and I love that they're doing this so that everything gets done today and then I don't have to worry about when the next choice items are. So I also get the premium as you know on this channel and I get two of them. So on this one I chose the uh, eyeshadow palette whereas on the first choice that you'll see in my other box I chose the Smashbox Photo Finish uh, setting powder. I have used this. I have enjoyed it. It is a fantastic, fantastic product. You know I do on this channel enjoy so much Smashbox, but this is a really unique product. It's a powder that you turn this metal container that's inside and it loosens up the powder. They're saying that this helps it stay fresher longer. I just think it's fantastic so that when you're traveling, which is what I used to do a lot, when you have this, you're able to take it and only the amount of powder that you want to come out comes out. So it's really, really cool. The other item is new to me. And this is the one that I chose for myself here, which is the Illa Moscow Nude Collection Unveiled Artistry Palette. Like I said, there's only two choices. I have two boxes. One went in one box and one went in the other. And then if you can't make that decision, you say, let us surprise you and let us choose for you. And then once you do this, it, it enables you then to... Uh, go shopping afterwards. So let me see here um, if I can go back to the um, where it said at the beginning. Yeah, and I'm just going to hit shop now. And for some reason, I'm having some interference, and I apologize if that's coming across on the camera. All right, so here it says Hi Charmer, early access is open. As I've showed you before, and if you're new to my channel, I'm going to show it to you again now. They have this area here on the right-hand side that gives you the choices to filter. You can filter by product name, 
A to Z or Z to A. You could do it by lowest price first, so which is usually how I shop. Then they have highest price first, and then they have lowest discount percentage as well as highest discount percentage. You can also then choose here the filter. And for some reason, I have two filters in here. Uh, yeah, so what I usually do is you can see here, um, I was testing it before we came on. Let me just see if I can get, there we go. Am I still okay here? Yeah, okay. This is uh, makeup. You could choose all makeup. You can just choose all skincare, hair care. You could divide it all down. Then uh, that's how I like to do it so I can customize what I want to get. So if I'm just interested in makeup, I look at just the makeup. Then there's hair care, bath care, body, tools, accessories, home and wellness. You can also shop by brand. And if you shop by brand, you can choose which brand you want. And then you can clear your filter uh, afterwards, which is what I did as well when I was looking for something in particular. The other filters, uh, sorry, let's see, clear filters. The other, uh, it's not letting me do it now. The other way you can choose it is by price and things like that. So the filters to me is really something fantastic. So they always start off when they get you on your on their page, you are under the trending which means this is what everybody's looking at now, or this is what they're pushing for you to look at right away. They also have over here, which I really, really enjoy this little feature, is two things. One, they're telling you the percentage that you're getting of a discount. They're giving you the original price and the price that they're selling it to you for, as well as this little tag that's on here where it says November base choice. So if you uh, didn't, or that's what you chose, they're giving you the option now to also choose if you don't get, like I do, two boxes, I would be able then to choose the other item as an add-on. And I think that's a fantastic feature. The uh, other thing that they're doing now, which I really also enjoy, is you can also go into the product. And I'll go into one just to show you. You go in here and it tells you more about the product. So if you click on here, it'll tell you some people, I guess, have already received this. They did reviews. The reviews on BoxyCharm are not ones that I really go by strongly, simply because a lot of times when I read the reviews, they simply tell you, uh, just received it, haven't had a chance to use it yet, because they're trying to get the points so that they can then use it for uh, free products in the Charm Shop when that's open. And the Charm Shop is never open when the add-ons are. So. The reviews on here, to me, they're doing the reviews not to help us make decisions. They're doing the reviews to get the points to be able to get the free product. But here, like I said, it shows you everything that it showed you on the first place, plus it gives you a product description, and it gives you the how to use, as well as uh, the ingredients as well. So this is something that I think is a really fantastic feature because... If you're like me, we do not know all the products that they're giving us here, and they sound interesting. And if we haven't seen anyone do a review on it, then we, you know, this gives us our own chance to look at it like as if we were shopping on a regular website. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to filter down to the category, and then I'm going to choose makeup. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do, and it didn't work earlier when I was trying just to get everything up and running, uh, it's I'm going to choose the, <clears throat> the lowest price first. And we'll see if this works because before earlier today, uh, earlier today, just a few minutes ago, it wasn't working, but it looks like I might be doing it now. I like doing it this way because I like to budget myself when I go on to this because it can become number one, overwhelming, and number two, you can always overspend because everything is such a crazy deal. So the first items that are here, we're just going to go through quickly. If it's a product that I'm familiar with and it's one that I'll recommend, I will then tell you. If not, we're just going to go through this quickly so that you guys can uh, get a good take on this and then I can go back in and do some shopping. All right, so the first one is from Seattle, London. Like I said, I'm only going to mention it if I'm familiar with it, but that's a $4 product that's $22. Next beside it, they have uh, from this brand, I've only tried their eyeshadows. This is an eyelash from a brand called Battington Beauty. I uh, know that they started with eyelashes. We have received some of their brushes, and their brushes I can really strongly recommend. They're very, very good. Smashbox, I, anything Smashbox for me is a winner. However, metallic matte liquid lipstick is not for me. Also, if it's faded out like this, it means that it's no longer available, and that's the only color that is available. The next item here is from Becca Cosmetics. It's their Glow Gloss. 
This one is $4. This is a really good uh, product. Also, Becca, fantastic brand. You're getting a $22, which every day if you go onto their website would be $22 for $4. So if you haven't had a chance to try it and you're curious, this is where this is where I like to choose to try. Then from KVD Vegan Beauty, they have the Muddle Cru uh, Crush Liquid Highlighter. To me, those are the colors that are available. I'm not a fan of liquid highlighters. Then they have from Luna by Luna. It's another one I would not recommend. I did not enjoy that product. Laura Geller, that's a hit and miss with me. Some of her products I really enjoy. Some I'm not that crazy about. This is not a product that I own, but this is the type of product that it says it's eye, lip, cheek palette, and uh, it looks like it's a trio. The next one I think is a good deal. Uh, I already own this. It is from Pearlie's Perfect Glow BB Cream. I'm a big fan of BB Cream. My favorite BB Cream is from Tarte. It's a $37 BB Cream. This is pretty good. This one is a $35 product for $4 and they're giving you five shade choices. So I think this is a real good, if you want to try BB Cream for $4 and it's from Pearlie Say, I think it's an absolute win. KJ Beauty, new brand to me, uh, but it is a concealer, so if you wanted to try $4, I think is a steal. Frank Body, I'm new to this uh, brand. Um, I think I might try his body lotion. I just received his mask in one of my boxes, and I used it last night, and I was I enjoyed it. Then from Morphe, this is a lip gloss, and if that's the color that you like, $4 for a lip gloss is absolutely fantastic. Becca makes fantastic lip liners. This is also one I would recommend. It's $4. MAC Cosmetics, I did get these two products uh, in my last add-ons to get a MAC lipstick to try. Cream Sheen is a very moisturizing lipstick, which I enjoy. Already one of them sold out. This is the only one that's left, but I did receive both of these in the last pop-up. And like I said, MAC lipsticks for $4. They're $19 every day of the week. This Thank Me Later, this Elizabeth Mott is one that I'm just starting to try for $4. It's if you've never chose uh, an eye primer, it makes such a difference on your eye makeup for $4. It's, I think, a great price. Real Her Defining Brow Pencil, if you're looking for a defining brow pencil, I don't find a big difference between all of them. So if you need one for $4, that's a great price for a pencil, uh, for an eyeshadow pencil. Then uh, Studio Makeup, this Endurance Cream Eyeshadow. I did not enjoy this product, so I wouldn't recommend it even at $4. But if you want to try, it's a great price because they're saying the retail on that is $25. Here's some more eyelashes. This I just received and I do like it and I love that it's only $4. Um, I got this uh, from Ace Beauty. I really am impressed with this Ace Beauty brand. If you ever see his eyeshadows, those I highly, highly recommend. This I just got, I just swatched it, but I didn't have an opportunity to put it on my lips, but they're beautiful. And for $4 to get two lip liners, absolute steal and a brand that I do recommend. Sole de Janeiro, I'm hoping to get one of these in my box. I haven't received all my boxes and uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed on this one. Uh, but I might for $4 choose one of them so that at least I know I'm going to get at least one. And this is, uh, I just, I've never tried it, but I really enjoy this Sole de Janeiro brand. This is the product, the Frank Body Glow Mask. This is the one that I just used last night. I did enjoy it. It's a thick, thick cream. You leave it on for 10 minutes, then you rinse it off, and then I wiped it off. Uh, I found my skin very hydrated this morning, and for $4, this is a great way to try their product. This I got and I didn't even open up. It's from Casa. It is a uh, balm, but for $4, I think this is a nice way to try a balm and to try this brand. Uh, it's normally an $18 product. Laura Geller, once again, this was not one that I received, and I know that it's going to be in some of the boxes. It might be in one of mine, but there's a lot of colors that are there. So if there's one color in particular you want, $4 is the way to go. Butter London, this is an eyeshadow palette that I did get. I wasn't overly impressed with it, but it is $6, so if you want to play in any of the colors um, screen to you, you know, then for $6 to get a full eyeshadow palette, it's the way to try and see if it works for you. Storybook also, this is one that I got a while ago as well as I had a few giveaways because I did get a lot of duplicates of these palettes. I've used them once or twice, they're nice. To me, the um, they're very, very bulky, but if you are have a room that has space for it, they are so beautiful. And for $6, it's a $35 palette I think is beautiful. Becca Cosmetics, uh, if you want to try their foundation, I do own this. I own a couple of theirs. I'm not a huge fan, but for $6 to get, that's what I pay for. Like That's less than drugstore price. So if you want to try something from their brand, this is where you go. And there's still, like I said, a lot of selection choice for 
for your color for 12 for 12 colors for six dollars it's crazy this is boxycharm made this palette um it was one of their first palettes i think that they put their name on this is a six dollar a lot of people wanted this uh, i do own this i don't remember using it um so i apologize for that Iconic, I also own this, but like I've mentioned, I'm not a huge fan of these uh, liquid highlighters, but it is absolutely beautiful. And for $6, I think it's an absolute steal. Then from Beauty Bakery, I'm not familiar with this at all, but Beauty Bakery is a really good brand. The next one is from Juice Beauty, another fantastic brand. I've only used their skincare. I haven't tried any of their makeup. Morphe, I had this palette and I also had it as a giveaway and the person who received it said they're really enjoying it. I'm just not into highlighters and all these colors, but for $6, another steal. Dose of Colors, if you watch my channel, you know that I did get these last month. I'm shocked that they're here because mine was totally destroyed and they credited me instead of replacing because they said they didn't have it available anymore. But here it is. So if you guys are interested, I did swatch it and you can see the color that I chose, but it came completely crumbled. The next again are some more products from Juice Beauty. Smashbox, this photo finish lid primer is my highest recommendation, but they don't have the light version. I did receive it in medium, but it is very dark. So if these colors speak to you for a lid primer and you, your skin tone can take this, then I, this is one I highly, highly recommend. I used to pay full retail for this at $21. The next item is from Touch and Soul. I'm not familiar with that one at all. And Becca Cosmetics, they have another color in their Glow Gloss for $6. Then here from Queen Shop, they have this Ready Set Glow. Not familiar with this either, but I did receive some sponges from them. And on the last uh, pop-up, I did receive a kit that had some more sponges, so that's gonna be in a future uh, giveaway. This Becca Cosmetics, uh, like I said, if this is a color that speaks to you, a lipstick for $6, I think is a great price. Tarte, this is the Big Eagle Mascara. The Big Eagle Mascara, the brush is very, very large on this. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it is a beautiful, beautiful mascara. But for me, my eyes are smaller, so this brush was a little bit uh, big for me. But I do use it and enjoy it. Uh, Benefit Cosmetics, he seems to have this one. This is the only one that I haven't tried from their primers. It is their pearl one. A couple of my uh, followers mentioned that they got this from Hank and Henry and they're absolutely loving it and they're saying the colors are very vibrant. So that's uh, from my subscribers to you. Uh, the next one is from Hank and Henry. This is another palette. Uh, supposedly his eyeshadows are really nice. I just haven't had the opportunity to try these. Uh, oh wow, the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. If you didn't get this or you didn't get the right color, they're saying there's still 30 ones that you can choose from. This is a fantastic, fantastic product. I absolutely highly recommend it. Dr. Paracone, also another great brand, very high end. Usually this I think is like a $60 uh, product. This is his no makeup line and it's a really, really good line. I have not had the opportunity to try the foundation yet though. Juice Beauty, some more products from them. Like I mentioned, I don't know it. Becca Cosmetics, their blushes are beautiful, but they do have a little bit of a shimmer. So if you don't like shimmer in your blushes, then the Becca blushes are not for you. Smashbox, this says it's a color correcting stick. I'm not familiar with this product, but like I've mentioned, you're getting products that if you want to try, they're here at the right price. The next one is from Becca Cosmetics. This is a bronzer in Sunset Wave. I did get a Becca, I'm going to see if it's still here in one of the kits and it was really pretty, but the um i hope it's here so i can show it to you guys it came in three so i was able to get a highlighter a blush but it was in this wave type of product and it was really hard to get the actual color that i wanted out of it so it's a little hard to use but the colors were beautiful uh, iconic london another one i'm not that familiar with paracone i mentioned to you and then pure uh, is a really good brand as well and if you're like a blush and the highlighter in one package then that's there for you not familiar with Cinema Secrets, sorry. MAC Cosmetics, another, like I said, if you want to try anything from MAC, you wait till these pop-up sales come because they're fantastic. This Dr. Paracone MD, fantastic product. Uh, I own it and um, I got it in a really beautiful shade and it is a really nice balm that really hydrates your lips. Sayate London, I've received as well as had it in a giveaway um, and uh, it's one that I enjoyed as well. A $9 for a $32 is crazy. This also one I recommend highly. This is from Will Her. It is the Ultimate Glow Getter Chick Cheek Trio. It's a blush and a bronzer and a highlighter. Every single product in there is a winner. The next one are ones that I chose, so I don't know. I haven't, like I said, received the boxes, but I chose it in the powder form. There was a blush and highlight duo. Um, the one that I wanted 
was sold out, but I haven't even had a chance to see the one that I got. So hopefully this will be in a future add-on because I really would like to test it before I start choosing it in different colors. Same thing with Beauty Bakery. That's a possibility it might be in my box, so I don't want to get it. The only one that might be in a future box that I said I need to get is this Clarions. I cannot believe that BoxyCharm got Clarions. I am ecstatic about this. This is the Instant Smoothing Perfecting Touch. I have not tried this product, but Clarions is a high-end prestigious brand that anything I've gotten, I've paid full retail for, and I've enjoyed. The next is this new one that's from Fenty Beauty. It possibly could be in a box as well, so I didn't add this to mine. Um, what's unique about this is the pencil uh, on one side and has a brush, not a spoolie, on the other, and it looks really, really unique. Smashbox, another winner. Their their photo finish uh, primers are just fantastic. Their BB cream is also uh, nice as well, and that's right beside it, and that one has SPF, and that's $39. Iconic London, another great palette. Oh, here it is, the Becca Cosmetic for $12. I got this in a larger kit. I don't know if I would pay $12 for this. Like I said, as you can see, the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter, it's very hard to get the product that you want out of it. Your brushes have to be very small. Cinnamon, uh, cinnamon, <laughs> cinnamon, mass, mass secrets, not familiar with that brand at all. Sigma, another fantastic brand, but I have not tried their eyeshadows uh, or their highlighters. This is also a really great kit. This is, I think, from a couple of years ago at Christmas time, uh, Becca Cosmetics. This is on my list, but I think I'm going to be over my budget, so it might have to go on to next time when they have it. Uh, Huda Beauty, I saw a few people open this and try it, and they were people that were really familiar with uh, using makeup, and they were not pleased with it at all. So I kind of had it on my list and took it off, but... You never know until you try things for yourself, but there was too much negativity around it. Same thing with this Huda Beauty. A few people got it last month, and a lot of people that tried to use it had difficulties, so I left it alone. Natasha Denona is one that I'm probably going to choose just because it's Natasha Denona, and I have an opportunity to try a $45 foundation for $12. bucks. i am probably going to add these to mine, and we've already gone through the Smashbox. Then uh, the, uh, the here's the other choices that you have. And then uh, this is going to be in everybody's premium box. I just did a video on this. If you haven't seen it on my base box, I did a review on this. I liked this. I had an opportunity to try, but I only used all the colors that were in the middle and a few that were on the bottom and the top, a yellow one. And my shadow stayed on all day. I enjoyed it a lot. And I know a lot of people, not a lot, just a few that got PR packages had some negative uh, feelings on it. Uh, Natasha Denona, I own this, not in these colors. Natasha Denona is gorgeous, and the packaging is beyond. Uh, then, these are the kits that I got last time. There's just none of them that are speaking to me right now, but I'm going to go through them all with you guys, so we'll see if something popped up, because I just took a quick glance before I started to set it up for filming. So this one is $12.99. These are fantastic, fantastic deals because these boxes come in the actual box and it's an $81 value. They're calling it the mystery bundle and these are the three items that they're showing. I'm not sure if there's more items in this than these three, but you would go in and you would double check. Same thing with the next one. The following one from Too Faced is Sugar Peach Face and Eye Palette. I think I do own this. I'm going to have to double check. Um, but if I'm just saying I think I have to double check, it's not one that I reach for. Then here they have from Zoeva, they have a pure matte box eight piece lip set. If these colors speak to you, $18 for an $80, or an $80 value is crazy. The touch and sole, I, was, I did not enjoy so much this uh, palette, but this roller is really good from Kitched. And I just, just started this, um, this product that is from um, Biore. Uh, it's their, it looks like it's their tomato uh, serum. So this is a $230 value for $19.99. So like I said, when you see these boxes, these are like the best, best deals. And then uh, $19.99 for this one, and it has Marc Jacobs and the same thing on the next one, there's a Marc Jacobs. And already there's products that are out of stock. So that's uh, everything in the makeup. So I'm going to go back to the filter and then we're just going to do a skincare and then I'm going to let you guys go because I want to do some shopping too. All right, so we got skincare here. 
All right, so we're still uh, going by the lowest price. That's what it's showing on the filter. So here, Pure Release, also fantastic, fantastic product. That's a watermelon uh, peel-off mask. I have not tried this. I have a sample size of this that I got from Ipsy, and I really got to try that. But I do enjoy the Pure Release line. Tony Moly, if you haven't tried their mask, this is a great way to try them. Two masks for $4 is a steal. Same thing, Proactive, fantastic product. I have not tried this one. That's from this Trip Wipes. Um, Mud Masque, uh, I haven't tried this. I saw a few people get it in their box, but I haven't seen anybody review about it yet. Um, I do own a lot of masks. If I didn't already have an, an amount that I was already spending, this is where I go in to try products to be able to tell you guys about the products. And uh, this would have been on my list. The next one is from Touch and Soul Pretty Filter. This is a fantastic product. If you haven't had the opportunity to try it, I would recommend it for the $6. Same thing with the First Aid Beauty. These are nice if you need pads. These are a, a small little compact that I take with me. I own a, a few of them and $6 is a great price. The next one from Tula Skincare, I've only used this a couple of times, but it is beautiful. It is a, an eye balm. You twist it up and it's very easy to put on underneath your eyes and uh, it's very cooling and really, really nice. This Pure Heels uh, sleeping pad, I saw some really great reviews on this. This is on my list and for $6, it's probably gonna end up in a box. It's a $55 value. I did not get it in any of my boxes and uh, it's one that I wanna try. I've been impressed with this Pure Heels line with other products that I tried. Clean Skin Club, a few of the people, and I think I got it also, I just haven't tried it yet. This one, uh, I've got great reviews uh, and uh, this is a brand that I think is working very closely with so we're going to, with BoxyCharm, so I think we're going to see more and more of this. Uh, Dr. Brandt, you, you can't go wrong with any of his products. And the other one, I'm not familiar with at all. Pearly Say, they have some sheet masks. This uh, Arganese Mist, I got in a Fat Fit Fun. This is a really nice product. However, it is... Um, it's you have to use very very little it is extremely concentrated and for six dollars for a 69 nine dollar product i think is an absolute steal i paid a lot more for that on a fab fit fun add-on this one here uh, i'm not familiar with it another pads this go-to skincare i got in my premium i used it once there's something a little bit different about this I, I, it's not a pad where you put it on it's one that you put on and then you have to rinse off so uh i really read the instructions on that if you got it in your box it is not one that you put on and just leave on the next is from saturday skin this is also one i highly recommend i got it and i repurchased it this is their water cream for combo girls water creams are really really good to use um the next one another product from dr Paracone. And then um, and they have it in the skincare as well as in the makeup because that's what that line is. Uh, Emma Hardy, um, I'm not familiar with her line, but I did get something from her in an oil. I'm not big on oil, so I haven't really, you know, reached for it. Here's another Pure Release. This is their Watermelon 2-Minute Polishing Peel. Also, to try Pure Release for $9, I think is a steal. Some more Emma. The Glow Recipe Avocado Melt, I do. It's a sleeping mask, and I usually love, love sleeping masks. I'm almost at the bitter end of this one. I used it uh, because I had it, but it wouldn't be one that I think I would reach for to purchase again. I didn't see the type of results that I've seen with other sleeping masks, but it is a nice product. Uh, Ren Clean Skincare is one that I had an opportunity to try through a Trend Mood box, but it was also an oil, so it kind of turned me off. But that doesn't mean that the rest of their brand is not good. And this is a mask trio. OCEA is another brand that's starting to show up in boxes. I think I got something in the Allure box. Uh, but I haven't had the opportunity to try it yet. But this is an up and coming brand. And it is a glass bottle. Uh, the next one is one that I just got. And I used it for the first time last night. This is from Farsali, the Privé line. I really enjoyed this. And if you can get Farsali for $9, it's one I recommend. The Murad Toner as well. This was uh, an absolute win for me. And if I have an opportunity to get a second one uh, through this add-on, I will. Uh, the Murad I've used, their exfoliating cleanser. This is a fantastic product for $9. This is a $40 valued product. And Murad does not go on sale. So the fact that we're getting Murad in these pop-ups is absolutely fantastic. Rodario is another one that I just received uh, in my box. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. But they mentioned when I did the uh, review on my, uh, sorry, the unboxing on my channel, they said this could also be used as a primer. So that intrigued me. 
And a couple of people wrote to me in my comments that they also put this into their moisturizers to get their moisturizers that radiance. So this is a nice way to try a $60 product for $9. Again, they're showing the same sleeping mask. 111 Skin, if you know me and my channel, I have enjoyed all of their boosters. And boosters simply mean that you can add it to anything as well. So it's really, you can add it to your liquid foundation, to your serums. It's just a fantastic product. Juice Beauty, like I mentioned, it's a very good high-end line. Ginger, I don't, the Sweet Chef, I've used their masks and I've joined, enjoyed them so, so much. The fact that this is in a mist, I think is fantastic. But to me, this is a $12 for a $17. I wouldn't rush here to, to grab that unless it's something that you really want. The discount on it, to me, the other discounts are so huge to be able to try other products. The other one from Elemis, this is a product I have not used, but I do enjoy Elemis. And then here's another product from Ren. Then we have... Um, a face moisturizer from a brand I'm not familiar with, some more Juice Beauty, some more Rin, and another brand I'm not familiar with. This might be in a box, so I'm really not sure what I'm going to do about this, but I would love to try it. I did try the Morphe spray that was a continuing, this is an aerosol, that is a continuous spray, and I really enjoy putting on setting sprays like that, so this is really on my maybe list. Then uh, Earth Harbor, another brand that's new to me, but I have enjoyed the products that I've tried from them. Next two brands I'm not familiar with at all. Then uh, this uh, other brand I'm not familiar with either. Uh, none of them on this chan on this line am I familiar with. But the BoxyCharm box, like I said, that's $19.99, and they're saying that's a $320 value. And the Farasali Quench is in there. So that alone, I think we just saw was like $9. So for $10 more dollars, you get all these other products. So these boxes that they call limited edition are absolute steals. And then the last three items I think that are on here are these here, and they're not ones that I've tried or familiar with. And again, there's a bunch of out of stock. So I'm just going to remove my filter. If you guys are interested in hair or bath and body tools, accessories, home or wellness, that's how you can search it here. You can also search like I showed you before by brand, by price. And the favorites is when you can put them in, put a, a little heart uh, beside it that's up here if this is one that you're, you want. So then you can go into here and then so you can look and shop this way without adding it to the cart. You add it to the heart and then you come to the favorites and then you can bring up just everything that you put the heart on. So that's another nice way to be able to shop. And that's everything that I wanted to show you about the BoxyCharm pop-up and the choice items. So good luck to everybody. I hope everyone gets everything that they want. And uh, hopefully I will see you on my unboxings and you'll get to see some of my choice items as well as what I chose for my pop-up. All right, take care everybody. Bye for now.